Today, RV Insider investigates the importance of washing your hands. Find out about the Trans-Siberian Orchestra's upcoming visit to New Jersey. And RV Insider takes you behind the scenes of our show. All this and more is next on the Thursday, December 9th edition of RV Insider. Hello and welcome to RV Insider. I'm Alyssa Healy. And I'm Ashley Arazzini and here's today's news. Our cafeteria trays are disappearing at an alarming and expensive rate. Please make sure to return all trays as soon as possible. Students are also reminded that trays are not to be thrown away in the trash. The final lunch out meeting will be held on Monday, December 13th during tutorial in Mrs. Brandon's office. If you are eligible this quarter for lunch out and have not yet attended a meeting, Please report promptly to the meeting on Monday morning. This will be the final meeting this quarter. With the flu season in full swing, RV Insider reporter Colin McDonald investigates the importance of washing your hands after you use the restroom. During the holidays, students get a week off from school, but no student wants to spend this week sick. RV Insider questions students whether they wash their hands or not. Yes, they did. Never. Um, I don't like washing my hands. Um, I do not wash my hands when I go to the bathroom. Yes, I do wash my hands. Yeah, that's nasty. I don't wash my hands. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I wash my hands all the time. Students, why they do or do not wash their hands? The reason I don't wash my hands is because I consider myself an environmentalist and I like to conserve the water and soap and electricity it takes to power the electric dryer. I don't flush either. Because I like the way it feels. Um, there's no need. I'm already clean, so screw it. No, I try to keep my hands clean. Because I'm black and after I wash my hands, you know, the water dries my hands and I get very ashy and that's an uncomfortable feeling. Because sometimes the water can be a pain because it, like, you have to hold the thing, like the handle, so. Uh, you know what I'm saying? If, it, uh, if I don't wash my hands, that's just uh, disgusting, you know what I'm saying? It's just disgusting. We caught students by surprise as they left the bathroom and questioned them if they do or do not wash their hands. I noticed that you just came out of the bathroom. Did you wash your hands? Yeah. Why didn't you wash your hands? I washed them. I washed why didn't you wash your hands? Dude, I washed them. Be honest, why didn't you wash your dude, hands? Dude, dude, I, I washed them. Excuse me. We noticed that you were just in the bathroom. Did you wash your hands? Well, yes, I did. Do you always wash your hands? <laughs> well, I wouldn't. I wash my hands. Why didn't you wash your hands? I did. Right. It's okay if you didn't wash your hands. I washed my hands. Why don't you wash your hands? Why are you guys Use the bathroom. I look at myself in the mirror. Do you always wash your hands when you go to the bathroom? Of course. Why don't you wash your hands when you go in the bathroom? When I go in the bathroom yeah, or? Why don't you wash your hands? When I go inside the bathroom. Yeah, when you go in the bathroom. Because I don't need to. I'm supposed to wash my hands when I come out of the bathroom. Did you just wash your hands? Yes. Yes, we heard you wash your hands. Why would you do that? Because I don't like to be dirty. Um, what would you, like you like to say to people that don't wash their hands in the bathroom? That's nasty. Do you ever witness people not washing their hands in the bathroom? Yeah. <laughs> what do you want to say to those people? Um, shame on you. Have you ever witnessed someone not washing their hands? And is there anything that you would like to say to that person? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? When you're in a stall, you know what I'm saying? And you see that one kid that walks out of the stall, you know what I'm saying? He's been in there for like 15 minutes, you know what I'm saying? Like four courtesy flushes and stuff, you know what I'm saying? You know he's doing his business and stuff. And he walks right out and he looks at you right in the eyes, you know what I'm saying? right at the eyes, and he just walks out, don't even wash his hands. Yeah, I've seen people not wash their hands. It makes me sick because they don't know how good it feels to wash their hands. Nah, I don't associate with dirty people like that. That's Mad respect, help the environment. They step further and ask a school nurse why it is important to wash your hands and what is the correct way to wash your hands. There are a lot of germs around. Uh, you can pick up things off the counter, off the doorknobs, which are really bad. You should wash your hands uh, frequently. Whenever you, before you eat, after you use the bathroom, that's most important. You should wash them, create a friction for like 10, 12, 15 seconds, and then rinse them really well. You grab a paper towel, uh, dry your hands, and turn off the water with the paper towel instead of touching it again with your hand because then you reinfect it. We've come to the conclusion that there's many kids in the school that do not wash their hands. Please do us a favor. Wash your hands, not just for you, but for everyone else in the school. This is Colin McDonald signing off from RV Insider. Have a nice day. 
RV's Class of 2012 is selling Rancocas Valley Spirit Bracelets for $2 each. Please email Carolee Gray at cgray at rvrhs.com or Jen Kavlik, jkavlik at rvrhs.com to purchase your RV Spirit Bracelets. It's a cute addition to a holiday gift or stocking stuffer. The junior class thanks you for your support. The RV Dance Team is selling cookbooks for, with 230 plus recipes in a three ring hardcover format. Pre-sale order forms are available in the main office. The cost is just $15 each or surprise someone for the holidays and buy two for $25. See April Wagner if you have any questions. Check out the sample in the main office. The Trans-Siberian Orchestra is coming to New Jersey. RV Insider reporter Ryan Slocum has more. What happens when rock meets holiday music? The Trans-Siberian Orchestra, an orchestra group that brings heavy electric guitars, bass, and drums to the holiday's music we all enjoy. I really like Trans-Siberian Orchestra because it's like Christmas, but it's like techno, and um, I don't know, they're fun to like listen to, and I listen to them, me and my family were putting up Christmas decorations. And my favorite song is definitely Wizards in Winter. It's like crazy good. With a massive amount of pyrotechnic displays and maybe the craziest lights display you've ever seen. This is a show you don't want to miss. Yeah, I, I went to one of their shows and it was so amazing. Like, for the most part, I saw all their displays, like the fire and stuff, but eventually I couldn't see anything, but what I heard was amazing, and at one point I got hit by some mosh pit dude, and I blacked out, and then when I woke up again, they had even more display, even props, everything, it was amazing, I, it was awesome. The orchestra is coming to Newark, New Jersey, Saturday, December 18th, at the Prudential Center. The trip should be approximately an hour ride. Or, if you feel like traveling this holiday, they will be in Albany, New York, Sunday, December 26th, at Times Union Center. The trip may be three hours long, but it will be a very fun-filled day. There's nothing like being with the family during the holidays. And what can be better than going to see a holiday music concert? A fantastic one at that. The Trans-Siberian Orchestra is coming to New Jersey next Friday. Please, don't miss out. I'm Ryan Slocum for RV Insider. The RV Step Team is selling Kid Stuff coupon books again this year. Kid Stuff coupon books are $25 and contain a host of coupons for vendors and businesses throughout South Jersey, including but not limited to Kohl's, ShopRite, Acme, Macy's, Barnes & Noble, and a variety of restaurants. See any member of the Hollywood Step Team or advisors, Mrs. Jackson or Mrs. Addison today to purchase your book. As the high school basketball season is about to kick off, the MBN, NBA season is in full swing. RV Insider reporter Sean Snowden went in the halls to find out who is the best player in the NBA. I believe uh, LeBron James is the best player because he dropped like 40 almost every night and he just busted on Cleveland not too long ago. He dropped like 38 and they was booing him like crazy. If you can play like that, you, you the nicest. And he close to Michael Jordan almost. He ain't got a ring, but he do do work. And, uh, John Wall because he's still young and you feel me? He averaging like I don't know how many points a game, you feel me? So, and he still got a lot of way to go, you feel me? He's still, he's still a rookie to me. So John Wall all the way. I think Chris Paul, Chris Paul is the best NBA player because he got handle and he can lead his team. Best NBA player is Ocho Cinco. <laughs> so yeah, the best um, NBA player I think is LeBron because that's always been my dude. LeBron James, I mean, he does it all, Doc. Does it all. The best right now is LeBron. It's like a grown man playing with babies, you feel me? Kobe, get that man out of here. I'm talking about no Kobe, man. Elijah Burley, EB10, we witnesses. I think it's Chris Paul because, you know, he's got he's got good court vision. He, we dishing out the rock. 
you know, he's not a ball hog and he uh, he makes mad plays, doesn't turn over the ball. Sean Stone is signing off for RV Insider. The RVRHS Varsity Club is sponsoring its annual coat drive this December. New and gently used coats, all sizes, male or female. Also collected new gloves, hats, blankets, scarves, thermal socks, and underwear. All donations will go to local shelters in Burlington County. Please drop off all your donations in the boxes located in the front of the main office or guidance office. Any questions, please call Ms. Armando, 267-0830. RV Insider reporter take, Courtney Gavin takes you to the TV broadcasting class for a behind-the-scenes look at what it takes to produce RV Insider. Thursday to RV Insider, you may wonder what goes into a student-produced show. I caught up with our crew to give you a behind-the-scenes look at RV Insider. Um, a graphic person, you just read the script. After they're done talking, like yearbook graduation, you press the graphic and you just keep pressing double play. Floor manager is a pretty simple job. You just tell the camera people what to do and you just listen for the cues. And once you get that down, everything else is pretty much easy. So, Well, basically what you do as technical director is you just preview the shots and you take the shots. You just press a button and flip a switch. It's pretty much Camera person basically just puts the cameras in the spots that they are and they don't really move because um, we have a bunch of different cameras for a bunch of different shots. But it's just a matter of making sure that the shot's perfect and lines up with the graphics. VTR, you're basically just in charge of rolling the tapes that we have, uh, either the segments or the news packages. Also talk to Mr. Marmer to see exactly what the class entails and how it can become beneficial to students in the future. Beginning for the first, I'd say maybe like seven weeks, um, it's a lot of theory. We learn how to write uh, news, what makes news news, um, how to write leads, how to write copy. Then we get into how to do news packages, um, kind of like you're doing right now. Um, and then we get into all the studio jobs. And while each studio job in itself is kind of easy, the difficult thing is having everyone work together as a team and be on the same page to make a, a quality final product. What do you think is beneficial about the class? I think it definitely benefits students because uh, regardless of any career you decide to go into, you know, working as a team, meeting deadlines, I mean, that, that's stuff that you're going to have to do anywhere. Um, in every class every student is probably in, there's a realistic chance that you probably don't get along with a student in that class, unfortunately. But you have to work together. Work is the same way. Anywhere you work, you're not going to like everyone at your job, but you're going to have to work as a team with those people. Same thing in here. Everyone comes together, works as a team, pulls together to get the job done. That's all for our behind-the-scenes look. If you have any interest in taking the television broadcasting class, please see your guidance counselor or Mr. Marmaru at your earliest convenience. For RV Insider, I'm Courtney Gavin, signing off. Come out tonight and enjoy the sounds of the Winter Choral Concert at 7 p.m. in the Performing Arts Center. Tickets are $7 at the door. Hope to see you there. Now let's take a look for this week's five-day forecast. It will be sunny and cold for the next couple of days with highs in the mid-30s. Saturday will be cloudy with a high of 44. And then on Sunday, temperatures will go up into the 50s with some rain. Monday will get colder with the possibility of snow. That's all for RV Insider. I'm Melissa Healy. And I'm Ashley Arazzini. Thanks for watching.